as heard on The Adam Carolla Show. And I would say to my friends, 25, 35 years, friends, I'm the godmother to their kid, their, their family to me, I would say we have to stand up for our own technology, and nobody wanted to do it. Everybody would say, look, I don't want a problem. I don't want to have a problem in my church. You know, if I get involved with you and this crusade of, of uh, looking into abuses, physical, sexual, mental, uh, where Shelly Miscavige is, then I'm going to have a thing. That, is and she I, still, she's still just missing, or what's the deal? I don't know. I, I spent thousands of dollars. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird. So like, weird right? I filed, it, it a, is what I we're filed a, a police report. Um, then I called the detective to follow up on. Uh, and then I, by the way, I had given a letter. I had written a letter to Shelley, and I said, "Here's the thing. This is what I need you to understand when going into this type of thing. You can't just roll up. You know, you there's a guard gate. There, you know, you're on private property. Uh, you have to extract her. You're dealing with somebody who believes." If you find her who believes she deserves her punishment, she deserves being held in captivity, she might not even know that she's being held. You know, you're dealing with somebody. So I gave him a note that said, Shelly, I haven't heard from you. I'm worried about you. Here's my number. Leave with this man. Call me right now. What's going on in there is horrible, and you know it. I will take care of you, whatever I said. But leave with this man now. Okay, never gave her the note as far as I know. Um, And then when I called to say, okay, did you find her? They said, that's classified. Who said that's classified? The detective. Now, here's what's even sicker. The detective that was supposedly in charge of this case, um, is is, you can Google this, okay? He is pictured at speaking at the Celebrity Center on human trafficking. Wow. Yes. Yes. Okay. So he tells me it's classified. I go, are you sick? I mean, are you sick? Is this something, are you on your way to retirement? Like, I don't get this, this whole, your response to me. He's like, I, okay, as far as I know, this is what I can tell you. She's fine. Did you see her? I said, did you see her with your own eyes? That's what I'm asking you. Did a representative see her? I cannot tell you that. When you say did he see her mm. is that within the celebrity center no. or on his supposedly private? where she is is up uh in either riverside county mm. at the at the <laughs> at the base like a, a it's called i think it's called gold base well, um, it was funny too. You you got a letter saying it's not Hammett. It's yeah, not I'm Hammett. not saying Hammett. Don't Arrowhead. Say Hammett. I don't know exactly where it is. Okay, <laughs> but but the thing is, I don't actually know that she's okay. I don't actually know that they saw her. Now the um, the classification that these things are given are uh, one of them is like it's unfounded, meaning that she was either found or that a representative said that she's okay and doesn't want to be found. So the, of course, Scientology uses that unfounded. Uh, classification as that it literally was an unfounded that I filed a purposely uh, purposeful uh, misinformed knowing that she was alive and she was well so they they use that now on my my hate website that I um, filed a, a fraudulent missing persons report now I then had to retain a lawyer because nobody by the way were, uh, I found this out um, you have to pay people to help um, I had to I had to hire a lawyer to request the documents. We want to see the documents that say, we want to say, we want to know who saw her, what officer, what was her condition. We had, and this is all on Tony Ortega's site, the underground bunker. Um, And you can see that I'm questioning. I'm saying, okay, that's fine. You're saying you found her alive. Now give us the specifics. They said we need uh, two weeks. Okay, great. We gave him the two weeks. And now my only choice now is to go after them full on, to, to actually get an answer. What was your relationship with her? Well, Shelley was a senior executive. She was uh, David Miscavige's assistant. Mm-hmm. Um, that was her official uh, title in church. She was with David Miscavige everywhere he went. Um, and throughout the years, we became friendly, which is not usual in the church. Senior executives don't usually... Um, socialize with um, parishioners but you know sometimes we break the rules for celebrities Mm -hmm. Um, and so I you know I got her ready I I, for for one of the galas at Celebrity Center cards back and forth Christmas cards Christmas Christmas presents she's a writes thank you notes all the time and then all of a sudden nothing all of a sudden nothing and so uh, that is 
did cause me concern that I couldn't even get a letter to her um, and get a response. So, um, yeah. I wow. would hope that somebody would care enough about me. I mean, if somebody shows up to my house and my husband said she's fine, I said to my mother, you know, check the freezer. I mean, barge in, Ma. Yeah, Don't take his word for it. I'm going to be killed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Adam Carolla Show is brand new five days a week. Subscribe on iTunes or listen at Podcast One, the Podcast One app, or adamcarolla.com.